Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Wolfspring Gaming and we're back again in the final video on Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe. I decided not to do any of the uh, combo challenges because they are extremely hard, but it is for review from the game, so let's uh, see, well let's start off the um, story, it's based in an alternate timeline between the beginning of Mortal Kombat 9 and the ending of Mortal Kombat 9. Well, actually, it's after Mortal Kombat 9. However, it's the old Mortal Kombat 9 and not the new one, if that makes sense. Like, Mortal Kombat 9 was a remake of a Mortal Kombat franchise, so. Uh, Round 2. Fight! But anyway, um. This game came out before Mortal Kombat 9, but apparently it's set after Mortal Kombat 9. However, um, at the defeat of Shao Kahn and the defeat of Darkseid, the events caused a singularity and Darkon was created. But, uh, with that singularity created, Dark Con spreads its evil around the universe and infuses all the fighters with rage. Is it an amazing game? Don't get me wrong. Uh, the story is amazing. But, when you get to the arcade towers, um, if the enemies are blocking, that's it, you're doomed. You can't defeat them, they have to kill you. Because this game was programmed for the enemies, like, see, uh, AI, if they're blocking all your attacks, then they're going to win the match. That's just how this game was programmed, originally. But if you can actually beat the computer, congratulations. And then when you get to Dark Con in the actual power mode, he has twice the amount of health than you, and he does twice the amount of damage to you as well. Which... It makes him near impossible to defeat. Especially if you're playing as a character you've never done before, and you don't like them, or their combos are just absolute crap. It just makes it so hard to defeat him. Defeat him. But with enough practice, you can get past. Um, the gameplay, it plays just like any other combat game. You attack, you block. And then that's basically it. Um, you win, you can do fatalities, which the game doesn't actually tell you how to do those fatalities, you actually have to figure it out yourself. Lucky for me, I've got all the fatalities written down. So, but most of them are actually hard to do. Round one, fight! There's literally a couple of them I never managed to do on the channel, unfortunately. So, I can't really get the achievement to do them all. But, it's fine. Honest, hit, hit, it's fine. Um, but yeah, the game is really good for a 2008 game. And you can thank this game for Injustice. Thanks to this game, Injustice became an actual game. Because without this game, without the introduction of DC Universe Fighting. Neverwhelm Studios would never have made it. But, okay, um, getting off topic here now. The combos are really easy to do. Fatalities are not easy to do. And they're not easy to figure out either. Uh, this game also introdu introduced um, stage transaction. Transitions, I mean, not transactions. They also had com um, guard combo, what not. Yikes, did not want to kill that dude. Uh, 
But anyway. Liu Kang um, win. But yeah, th this game introduced so many different aspects of fighting. Some of which got brought into the next couple Fight. of Mortal Kombat games, whereas the another one who never actually saw the light of day again in this game. So obviously you got this, which is a which is the very beginning of stage inter transitions. Um, obviously, since this game stage transitions are different, it's just a cutscene. You don't do that. You can't add to the damage you do. But yeah, they're still in the future games, but not as not like this, where you can actually deal more damage by doing certain attacks. Fine, attack me then later. But, um, yeah, this, this is a really good game. I do recommend it if you love Mortal Kombat. Oh, this is the combo uh, grab, the counter grab. That's it. But yeah, this game is good, not the best, and definitely not the worst Mortal Kombat game. You've got references in this to all the different Mortal Kombat games, including uh, Armageddon, Shaolin Monks, Deception. So yeah, it's really good. Wins. But anyway, um, Fatality. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. I'm going to give it a rating of 6.5 out of 10. Not just because it's an amazing game, but there's a lot of problems with the game, even though it is an old game now. But there's nothing you can do to fix the game, like add different programming so we... AI doesn't block every attack, or Darkon doesn't do as much damage. He can keep his health, I don't care about double health, but double damage, it just makes him near impossible to defeat. But yeah, 6.5 out of 10 is my final rating for the game. I enjoyed playing it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this entire walkthrough with, alongside me, and I'm not talking about just the story walkthrough, I'm talking about the arcade towers walkthrough as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button turn that notification bell on join the wolfgang by hitting that subscribe and i will see you in the next video this is wolfsbane gaming signing off